Hey guys, Jay here. Welcome to Eon's Battle, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormstrike. This is basically the exact same product as Warhammer 40,000 Recruit Edition or the 8th edition starter set First Strike. Now I'm not saying that Age of Sigmar is better than 40k, but for some reason this box costs $10 less than the exact same thing for 40k. The real reason I bought this is because I finally worn down a friend of mine and they're going to begrudgingly play Warhammer with me but they only like the fantasy side of the game. And I can't say that I took much convincing. I spend a good chunk of my time scrolling through the Games Workshop web store looking at the Age of Sigmar range. The models just look incredible. From the Ossiarch Boners to the Idaneth Splashy Elves, after three years of Primary Space Marines, Age of Sigmar is looking pretty good. So let's crack this box open and see what's inside. All right, let's see what's in the box. No need for a box cutter, it's just two little tabs and then we're ready to get inside. Yeah, that's a nice full box. Glaive Wraith Stalkers. I've actually bought these guys before. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to paint them up yet, but now I have some more. And these guys are just so, so awesome. For 15 bucks, uh, if you don't buy them in this, this box, they're 15 bucks from Games Workshop, you get two loaded sprues, four guys, on beautiful sculpted bases. I think if you play 40k, but you want to give yourself a painting challenge, these are the perfect models to do it. Because there's nothing like this in 40k. It's going to teach you all about cloth and like ghost effects, maybe some object source lighting, beautiful bases, weird stuff like uh, this little undead bird. I mean, big old swords. This is, I mean, this they have it all, these uh, glaive wraith stalkers. Uh, and there's actually options in here. You can have four with the swords or you can have three with the swords and one with a cute little drum. But I built them before and you have to be real careful with the drum because the hand loves to snap off. So that's a little hot tip for you guys. I could not be happier with these, uh, these models. They are some of Games Workshop's finest. Moving on, the Mirmorn Banshees. And these guys are also some of my favorite. I think I'm just gonna say that they're all my favorite. These are some of my favorite. You still get beautiful sculpted bases, but I mean, look at these. Look at these giant robes. These are gonna be an absolute joy to paint. And once again, you get four of them. Um, I think you can also buy these for 15 bucks. I'm not completely sure. They might only come in this. I know the Glaive rates you can get them, but Games Workshop did a really, really interesting thing with this where they, they kind of, they have arms, they have bodies, but they're hollow. And so the, when you put them together, there's actual cavities where their bodies would be. And I think that, that is just super cool. Four, four uh, beautiful bases. I know not everyone loves the, the beautiful bases because uh, if you have a particular scheme for your army, these might not fit. But I don't know, maybe, maybe these units just uh, happen to exist in a slightly different spot. All right, so that's the My Mourn Banshees. All right, let's look at the Stormcast Eternals. And this looks like it is the Stormcast Eternal Castigators because of the crossbowy, regular bowy gun things. And I was told that these are a lovely gold, and they really are. Uh, it's gonna be a shame to cover all this up with paint, but you gotta. <laughs> and even bigger bases, what are, are these 32s or are these 40s? These might be 40 millimeter bases. And I can see this one, you could have a problem because there's feet. So it's gonna be a real bummer to cut out the feet, but you could also just put basing material over the decorations. So that would probably work too. But these guys I think are gonna be really fun to paint. It's a lot like painting a space marine, but uh, even bigger and uh, with less grimdark going on. And so um, one of the things I actually did before this video is I did a little bit of research and if you'd allow me, I would love to read you a little gem off the Games Workshop web store about the Thunderhead Great Bows, these little weapons they've got here. Stout shafts attached to braced heads filled with storm breath of Star Drakes. <laughs> oh my god. Stout shafts attached to braced heads 
filled with the storm breath of star drakes. Someone in England had a lot of fun writing that, because that cannot be what it says in like the core rule book or the codexes or whatever. That's ridiculous. But I'm really excited about these guys. And these are prime candidates uh, for kit bashing into Black Templar armies for Sword Brethren. So, oh, and we also have the Griff Hound, I think these are called, also known as a very good boy. Wow, and they're big. Holy moly. That's like, that's probably, that's probably the better part of a guardsman. These are some really big models. All right, I think that about wraps it up for the Stormcast Eternals Castigators, the bow, the bow guys. All right, and the last of the models, the Stormcast Eternal Sequitors. These, I think, are the classic troops of the Stormcast Eternals. And they are classic uh, sword and shield. Well, not sword and shield. They're, I guess they're mace. Mace and shields. Apparently, their maces are actually magical weapons that harness uh, the power of whatever whatever passes for magic in the, uh, in the Warhammer Age of Sigmar universe. And uh, I don't know a lot about them, but I think they're going to be really fun to paint because you got big old, big old cloaks, lots of heavy armor, shoulder pads that rival even 40k shoulder pads. And of course, you can never go wrong with a shield. A big old shield is always going to be really fun to paint. And they're just such a lovely gold color in plastic. I almost want like to keep one set in gold just because it looks so nice. Looking at the second sprue, I am I am sure these are 40 millimeter bases. So you are really getting some good size with these. If you wanted a painting challenge, this box is 40 bucks. What 40K thing can you buy for 40 bucks that's gonna give you, what, eight, 16 models? I mean, if you just wanna get better at painting, don't buy crappy, crappy army men, buy this. And if you paint all of this, you're gonna be loads better. Oh, I do like, I do like these heads. I almost feel like these would work really nicely as Sisters of Battle heads. And they kind of have a little bit of a, um, oh, now I'm going to forget the name of the Blood Angels guy. But there's, the Blood Angels have a lot of these kind of golden androgynous faces going on. And everybody, please let me know in the comments how wrong I'm getting all of this, because I do not play uh, Age of Sigmar. But I'll tell you, I am really excited to paint these up. I think I'm going to be trying out a lot of neat stuff. I'm going to be trying out some oils, some pigments, some special washes. Uh, it's going to be happening on these guys. But yeah, that is the Stormcast Eternals Sequitars, or Sequitors. All right, you get... You get six dice. What does it say on there? Nothing. So you actually cannot play Age of Sigmar without these dice. These are the ones you have to buy. Your other dice will not work for Age of Sigmar. There's some sort of magical properties that stop your dice from working. So you need to get these Age of Sigmar dice. Little known fact, they don't tell you that in the instructions, but uh, that's true. Ooh, and then we've got a nice packet. Come on. All right, let's just go one by one. Ooh. Ah, and they're all scratched up because of the models. Ooh. What are these? I like this. Ah, oh, this is sweet. Oh, this is really cool. I would prefer this to codexes. You just get a nice, a nice pamphlet. This is great if you're like, if you're like, okay, I gotta move. I gotta go move. Wait, this doesn't come in the box. <laughs> Why does this come in it? Reich, Reichnor the Grim ha Hailer. Reichnor the Grim Hailer. Well, this is really cool. I dig this a lot, but why does this come in the box? Maybe the maybe the uh, the other stuff will tell me. Reichnor, the Grim Hauler. In life, Reichnor was a sorcerer king, and it's got all of the the, the rules and stuff. Well, that's neat, but I wonder if this was a mistake. 
Yeah, and I also got this. Astrea, Astrea Soul Bright. So it looks like I recognize these. If you buy the more expensive version of this box that comes with proper armies, you do get these models. But you don't get them in this box. So I wonder if this is a mistake, or I wonder if um, these are just published rules that aren't in the current codexes. And so they just shove these into everything so you have them. That, those are my two guesses. Please let me know in the comments what's going on. But these are cool. I want these for every unit in the game. All right, it looks like this is what we actually need. We got the Griff Hound. Nice, nice picture. I kind of wish this was a painting, but it's, it's also kind of nice to get a picture of the thing that you're going to try to paint. It's always nice to have reference. So we got the good boy. The... Though this also doesn't come in the box. Oh my goodness, what's going on? The Celestar Ballista. Not in the box. Castigators, these are in the box. Good. Sequitors, we already looked, took a look at these guys. Ooh, actually, I'm not a super sold on the gold. It is kind of a nice look though. The Dreadblade Harrow, again, not in this box. Mimorn Banshees. Ah, ah, oh, they look good. Ah, oh, they look real good. Except for somebody wasn't careful with their brushstroke and put a big old line of, uh, it looks like like Tau XV88 or whatever the brown, the, like, the mustard color is. Because I swear to God, that's, that's a poor paint stroke. I kind of love it though. Games Workshop is only human. And the Glaive Wraith Stalkers. Yeah. Look at these fellas. All right, that's all the cards, and I'm loving the cards. I think that's super cool. All right, so just buy like 75 paint colors from Games Workshop. Just do it, and then you can paint your models. Yeah. Yeah, and then a very similar thing here. So just all the colors Games Workshop sells. All right, core rules, and it actually is kind of nice for for just a pamphlet that I'm sure is just the basics. This is pretty nice. Nice big text, lots of pictures. That's pretty cool. And last but not least, Stormstrike. This is a this is a beefy uh, book. How many pages is this? Does it say 81 pages? Oh, and it looks like it's got. A little, little, little lore on all of these units. And once again, I'm seeing all the units, not just stuff from this. Or maybe I'm not. Here, I don't want to be even wronger than I probably am. Glaive Raid Stalkers, Morn Banshees. No, this looks like this is specific to this box, this $40 getting started box. Ooh, I love me pretty pictures. And some some uh, how to paint stuff, some examples of other armies. Nagash. Nagash used to have an awesome model, but then they changed him to plastic. All right, but uh, that's pretty cool. All right, most important thing, we've got our little fake ruler that is floppy. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Gaming Mat. All right, this, this feels actually a fair bit better than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be crap. Um, and it's not great. But I suppose this would get the job done. Is this really, uh, what, four feet by six feet? No way. All right, I don't know how big this is, but it's big. It's really big. It's much bigger than like a kill team board. What is that, like 24 by 32 or something like that? This is, this'll get you, this'll get you going. Although I think I need to iron it for it to actually sit flat. But, uh, neat, that is everything in the box. And it's looking pretty cool, I must say. 
Well, I'm convinced. It looks like this box is going to be a lot of fun to play with, and the models look incredible and like they're going to be an absolute joy to paint. I don't want you guys to get too excited. Most of the content on this channel is going to stay 40k, but I will be showing off more of this box in the future, so stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.